everyone welcome back to once upon a melody or welcome if you're new my name is melody and today is a little bit of a different video as you may have noticed my face is not on the screen and i'm not doing a reaction video i've decided that i wanted to try to do some of these kind of more analytical videos where i go more in depth into what a music video is about or what a group is about so that's what we're doing today so without any further ado let's get into it So today's video is about the brand new girl group from the Black Label who you might know as the producers of Joan Somi's releases. Their recent girl group, Meow, which stands for My Eyes Open Wide with two V's instead of a W. Their concept is fierce and fresh, bold, sleek, street style, which sounds more like an aesthetic than a concept, right? It's like they want your eyes to be wide open to look at them, and that's about it. Their debut music video for their song, Meow, sets this kind of concept up within, within the first five seconds. The girls are posing stoically and the cameras are flashing as if they are on a fashion photo shoot instead of a music video set. And the only vocals that we hear are the repeated ya ya yas in the audio. The lyrics even in the first line say, Ain't no reason I'm as chic as I look. There are a lot of shots of them staring at the camera and just posing. It is definitely the point of the music video that they want to be viewed as models and that they want to be seen for their looks. They are in very stylish outfits throughout the entire music video, very many different ones with close-ups on different accessories including Chanel. They're in different colors of outfits including plain white outfits on black backgrounds, colorful outfits on plain backgrounds, which all of the backgrounds in this entire music video are very drab and plain. They're different shades of gray, silver, and white, and black to make the members and their outfits stand out more. In fact, this entire music video could probably have been filmed on a white soundstage with absolutely no backgrounds, and it would have had the same effect. As for the choreography, there's a lot of cat symbolism in the choreography, which is kind of cute. They do cat ears, claws, paws, and the dancing is almost lazy, kind of how a cat moves. It's kind of slow, casual, almost to be able to look at the members more easily too. There is a quote-unquote dance break, but it is cut with a scene of them bringing yetis some tacos, which I have no idea what this means, but maybe it's to show that they are nice girls behind their good looks and at least one or two of them can dance really well. In the opening shot of the music video, there are also some background dancers that have cat masks on. And this is pretty interesting, but it would have been even better if the members had had these masks on and then they revealed themselves later in the music video. This kind of concept would have maybe hidden their looks and kind of had more to say about, hey, we're not just all about our looks. You know, we can also sing and dance. And maybe if they had had these cat masks on for the first half of the music video and then revealed themselves in the second half, this kind of concept would have shown through a little bit more. But as we can see, this is not what they did. They've almost fallen into this fifth gen trap of visuals being more important than talent. A lot of people online have been saying that Bang Ji Hyuk, or Hitman Bang, the CEO of HYBE, said in the recent documentary about Cat's Eye that star power is more important than skill. I'll put exactly what he said regarding star power on the screen. It's a little bit different than what people are saying online that he said. People are trying to rage bait people. But regardless of that, what we see in the Cat's Eye documentary is that star power is important and it is what initially draws people into a group. In the survival show, people voted based on looks and nationality as they do with many viewer voting shows. And I don't disagree with this basis for voting. Star power is what initially draws people in to a group or to a member, but what actually keeps fans is the talent. As we've recently seen with groups like La Seraphim, people do care about vocal talent. They want the whole package now with groups, not just talent, visuals. They want both. They want all. While Meow certainly has the star power and the looks, do they have the talent yet? We can see in a couple parts of the song that their vocals are pretty powerful, and there's a few parts where we can tell that there's some auto-tuning, which is not always a bad thing. A lot of times it's a stylistic choice of the producer, and that's totally fine. There's also a couple of dancers that are very talented in the group. My personal favorite part of the music video were the rap lines. However, this group is definitely more all about the visuals, which is 
a big trend that we've seen now with fifth gen groups. They want to be noticed for the way that they dress and look and will probably try and succeed to get some brand ambassador assignments. After all, they are very pretty girls and they aren't here to blow us away with a ballad, at least not quite yet. However, I figured with all the recent discussions about how important it is for idols to be able to sing live, that they would have come out with a more vocal heavy debut. But like I said, the rap lines are the most impressive, in my personal opinion. I think it would have been really cool to see a full rap fifth gen girl group. Not vocal heavy, not, you know, not a group that is trying to have impressive vocal members or members that are only visuals, but every member can rap and they just do entire rap songs. I think that is something that we have not yet seen in the K-pop industry. And I think that would be really impressive if there was an entire girl rap K-pop group. However, just as with most debuts, we will have to wait and see where they go from here. So what do you guys think of Meow? Let me know in the comment down below. What do you think of their debut music video? What do you think of the more modeling scenes in the music video? Less dancing, less actual singing in the song, less actual song. It was under three minutes. There is a big conversation going on right now about getting things to trend on TikTok by having shorter songs. What are your guys' opinions on these things and the trends that we're seeing with fifth generation groups? Please let me know. Leave your comments down below. What do you like about these more analytical videos as opposed to reactions? I don't get as much copyright issues as I would with a full-on reaction and I don't have to edit it down quite as much. So let me know your thoughts. I'm excited to see. If you liked this video, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Don't forget to drink some water, take your medicine, and eat something today if you haven't done those three things yet. Take care of yourselves, and otherwise, I will see you all in the next video. Bye!